It was the best interview of the day. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so glad they can come up here and do all the things I take for granted. I don't want them frightened of the world. My parents would rather I never go out. They're really strict. <laughs> yeah. Um, what do you think audiences would find most compelling? Mrs Walker um, tells Mrs Jackson, you know, she doesn't want her children to be scared of the world. And mm -hmm. um, that's a big life lesson that she wants to give them. And um, I think that's lovely. But I think watching the film, parents and the audience might be going, Wah! you know, because... Uh, because my character does just send her kids off on a boat um, yeah. with no adults. I think it's sort of interesting to see that because it does seem so, so reckless. I think we're a bit overprotective now. We maybe don't yeah. need to go to Mrs Walker's lens and send children off on their own. So the film's an alternative to the fast life or big action films. Mm. Why is it important to have such a variety of stories in cinema? Everybody needs to be represented. All different stories need to be mm. told. And I think that where this fits in is that it's a, a pure story about childhood, you know, yeah. and about the importance of getting out into the great outdoors, especially in this age of people being stuck to their devices and all that sort of thing. And it's it's wholesome and beautiful and nostalgic and um, uh, and a sort of and it's not violent and it's not you know mm -hmm. it's it's a very pure story. It's a very heartwarming, lovely thing, and it's funny. I like Branson's book. I like the fact that he made a story out of these old photographs. I just felt very compelling and mysterious.